Hey YouTube, happy holidays. Thank y'all so much for clicking on this video. My name is Kia, this is Virtual Access, and today I will be doing my weekly check-in number three for December 2021. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this video because these videos get kind of lengthy, so yeah. So as usual, we're gonna start off with our cash envelopes with our calendar. And the first one we're gonna be doing is spending, and it will be on the 16th because we are doing the week from the 16th to the 22nd. And yeah, so I did have two transactions that day. This is for spending. Oh God, I missed that all up. <laughs> and I do apologize if you guys hear my son in the background. He is up and yeah. The first transaction that day was at a vending machine at work and I spent 150. So I'm just gonna put vending for that. And as y'all can see, um, I did, well, as y'all know, I asked y'all last um, week about the vending transactions. Because you see here, I use it for takeout. And a lot of y'all said it was for spending. And I, when I thought about it, I was like, uh, yeah, girl, it's for spending, not takeout. <laughs> so I felt kind of crazy for even thinking it was takeout. But thank y'all so much for leaving comments and, you know, filling your girl in. But I am using it the correct way this time. Um, the next one was also at a vending machine at work. I must have got like a snack and a drink, I'm assuming. This one was a dollar and sixty cents, and I'm just gonna put vending. The next one was on the 19th, and I had two transactions. And on that day, I went to um, Walmart and got a pillow. I needed a new pillow, you guys. So I went there and got one, and I spent $10.20. And this was out of, this is out of my spending category, but this spending money was early Christmas money because my boyfriend gave me $100 um, for Christmas. I put a portion of it into my personal envelope and I put a portion into my spending so this was one of my spending transactions out of my Christmas money that he gave me and then the next one was at this place called Ollie's I'm not sure if everybody you know knows about it but I spent $10.63 there and got some Bluetooth headphones the next transaction was the next day on the 20th. And on that day, I went and used the vending machine again at work and spent a dollar and 60 cents. And then the very last day for spending, I have to fold it in, was on the 22nd, which is the last day of this week. And this day I spent spent $2 and this was just at Dollar General. I got myself and my son some candy. <laughs> so yeah, that is it for spending. All right, so next is gas. And believe it or not, I only have one transaction for gas and it was on the 18th. Um, Just like I did on the first weekly check-in up here, I only spent $20 that week. I did it again, you guys. Like, I was so shocked. I was like, today is the day to do my weekly check-in. And I was like skimming through my transactions and seeing that I only spent $25, you guys. Only had one transaction this week. Oh, gas. Um, this one was at Sundu. So somehow, some way, I did it again. And it's crazy how I went from spending you know, $20, 20 $25 one week, and the next week I spend like, you know, I had like three here. Like, it's crazy, but I'm not complaining. I'm really not at all. But that was the only transaction, so we're gonna move on to takeout, which is the last one we're gonna be doing, cause I didn't do any fun or gifts transactions this week. So I did two transactions with takeout. The first one was on the 18th. So this day, I went to McDonald's. I spent $15.47, and this was at McDonald's. Oh my God, I write so big, you guys. I had a, only had room enough to put McDonald's. 
And then the next one was the very next day on the 19th. And this was the last one. So on this day, I spent $8.87. And this was at Arby's. So only two transactions this week. So that is it for our cash envelopes. I'm going to move on to sinking funds. All right, so I did do some more Christmas shopping with my sinking funds. So I do have a couple of them. Um, it's not very many, I don't think, anyway. But yeah, let's get started. The first one is on the 16th. And on this day, I... All right, so my personal envelope for this transaction, and I spent $2.14. And this was at Dollar Tree. The next one was on the 18th, and this one was from the Christmas envelope and on this day i went and got my son some pictures photo with santa claus he was so cute he was smiling and everything like i was i was not expecting him to smile at all so i spent a total of 14 dollars there and i'm just gonna put i'm just gonna put the name of the mall bigs mall it's actually called bigs park mall but i'm just gonna put bigs mall all right so the next transactions was on the 19th which was on that sunday and i did um a lot of christmas shopping that day a lot of transactions so i'm just going to use one strip and then i'm just going to go to my calculator and let you guys know everything that i spent money on all right so the first transaction was at dollar general i got my son some diapers and that was 17 dollars and then I went to Big Lots to get a Christmas gift, and that was $5.35, so we're going to run at the 6 Then I went to Ollie's and got some more Christmas gifts, and a total of $26.78 was spent there, so we're going to run it up to $27. Then I went to Walmart, which was the last stop that day, and I spent some Christmas gifts there as well. And the total was $9.56, so we're going to run it to $10. At Walmart, I got some personal items, some shoes, and some other personal items I'm not sure of. Um, it come up to be $17.94, so I'm going to run it to $18. And last but not least, I got some um, fitted sheets for my son's bunk beds because they really need some new sheets. And some hand soap. This come out of my household category. Spent $22.48, so I'm going to run it to $23. So I spent a total of $101 that day in sinking funds. So I'm just gonna put 101 and I'm gonna just put a dash indicating that I need to go to my transaction log. So I did have what looks to be two no spend days, which is right. Yeah, I'm not used to not I'm I'm not used to having no spend days, so y'all have to bear with me. But I did capture it on this video. So I had a no spend day on the 17th. These are so fragile. And I had one more on the 21st. All right, you guys. So we're on our weekly check in. I'm going to zoom in as much as I can. You guys know the lower I get down on these weeks, I'll be trying to keep, you know, the headers in there but yeah so we are on week three i apologize this tripod keeps shaking all right so we're gonna go ahead and get started with our total with our spending we had two dollars two dollars eleven eleven two two and that's it so thirty dollars was spent this week on spending i put in $20, $20 was in my envelope, spent 30, so it should definitely be empty, which this isn't going to add up. Wait a minute. Let me, let me see guys. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna have to do this off camera. I'm not entirely sure, but I was supposed to not have anything left over. Um, and I have money in my envelope. <laughs> I have $5 in my envelope, so I'm not entirely sure what happened unless I just forgot to remove it or something. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm not supposed to have anything in spending, so yeah, we'll have to get that figured out off camera. Next is gas, and I only have one transaction, and that was $25. 
90 that I put in. I put in 90 and had 90 um, in my envelope overall. Subtract the 25 and I should have $65 in my envelope. And here's my gas. So we have 50, 60, and five. So that is correct. Thank God. All right, next is takeout. I put in 45 and 45 was in overall. So we're going to calculate the totals. So we have 12, 16, and nine. So $37 was spent in takeout. I put had in 45, so it should be eight dollars in takeout. So here's our takeout. I'm just gonna count to confirm as usual. So we have five, six, seven, eight. Y'all can see eight dollars. So that is correct as well. Next we have fun. I didn't put anything in, nothing was in it at overall didn't spend anything so it should definitely be empty which it is then we have gifts i didn't put anything in but i did have two dollars i didn't spend anything so i should still have two dollars we're going to see that it, that is correct all right so besides um my spending envelope everything else looks good so we're gonna move on to remaining so i had 71 dollars remaining for spending i spent 30 so we're gonna see what's left 71 subtract 30. so i have 41 dollars left to spend 260 left over for gas i spent 25 so i still have 235 dollars that is crazy for gas um so next is takeout I have $35 remaining and I spent 37 so I am negative two dollars all right let me mark that out so I'm negative two dollars Next is fun. I had $100, didn't spend anything, so I still should have $100 remaining. Then with gifts, I have $50 remaining, and I didn't spend anything, so I still have $50 remaining. All right, so this is my income sheet here. Um, so this is the first day of this week. I got my normal check. Um, that's why I work. Um, Jonathan sent me three hundred dollars. That was to cover. Um, that was his child tax credit for paying the rent for last month. So I didn't really apply to you know the bills and stuff this week. Um, but it was my check. Then I got for some reason I got a check for my old job that I haven't worked in like two weeks or so. But I did get a little bit of change from them um and this is where jonathan had gave me my christmas money he gave me a hundred dollars for christmas and it gave me like 35 dollars for a takeout so that's why my takeout is different than my cash stuffing video because he did give me an extra 35 dollars i think i put like 10 dollars in my cash stuffing video yeah because right here i have 45 dollars and i actually put in 10 dollars on my video and i changed it because he gave me 35 dollars and then this is um, my second check here that I will be stuffing tomorrow. So thank y'all so much for watching this video. Make sure I hit that thumbs up button. Leave it in the comments below what you guys think of how I did this week. Look forward to seeing my cash stuffing video tomorrow. If you guys don't hear from me again, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas day, a happy new year, happy holidays, all of that good stuff. And yeah, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to y'all for the next one. Bye.